everybody, welcome back. Welcome to day four of Cookmas, where I'm all putting a holiday themed recipe every single day this month from December 1st to the 25th. So today we're making a snowflake red velvet cake. So I realized that I've never made a red velvet cake on my channel and I'm so sorry that I have failed you. Also the lighting completely changed. Anyways, um, this is my favorite red velvet cake recipe and I think that this is such a pretty way of decorating it for the holidays. We are using royal icing to create little snowflakes and the red matches inside of the cake. So it's like super styled and pretty, I love it. So let's get started. So first we're going to make the snowflakes. You wanna combine some confectioner sugar, meringue powder, and water in a bowl, and beat with an electric mixer for seven minutes, or until the mixture stays on the surface for several seconds when drizzled. Dye the frosting red and place it in a piping bag fitted with a small round piping tip. Pipe snowflakes onto a baking sheet lined with parchment paper, and allow the icing to dry overnight until it's very stiff. And you do wanna wait till it's overnight, not just till it's dry to the touch, because it might not be dry all the way through. And if you can hear that little kibble noise, that's Paddington eating and taking all of his kibble out of his bowl before he decides to eat it. This is him. This is his life. So to bake the cake, whisk together some cake flour, cocoa powder, and salt. Then in a separate bowl, beat the sugar and oil with an electric mixer. Add the vanilla, some food coloring, and eggs one at a time, beating well with each addition. Add the flour mixture in two additions, alternating with the buttermilk. Then combine the baking soda and vinegar in a small bowl, then add this to the batter and mix well. Pour into two greased and floured nine inch round cake pans and one square nine inch cake pan. Bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 to 35 minutes or until a skewer inserted into the centers comes out clean. To make the frosting, beat the cream cheese and butter with an electric mixer until it's pale and fluffy. Add the vanilla extract and confectioner's sugar one cup at a time and beat until fluffy. So to assemble the cake, you want to cut the square cake into two circles. Trim the tops and sides off the two small and two large round cakes to flatten the surfaces and remove any excess browning. Spread some frosting between the two large cakes, then cover them in a generous layer of frosting. Then pop this into the fridge to chill. Then repeat with the small cakes. Stack the small cake on top of the large cake and, if necessary, spread some extra frosting on top of the cake to conceal the seam between the two cakes. Very gently peel the snowflakes off the parchment paper and stick them to the cake. And just a warning, if you drop these, they will shatter, so be very careful. I had a couple break on me. And if necessary, use some extra frosting to prop up the snowflakes and you are done! So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you liked this recipe. If you missed out on any other Cookness recipes, click the playlist here and it will take you to everything that you've missed out on. And um, make sure to ring that little bell next to the subscribe button and also subscribe if you haven't yet so that you get notified when tomorrow's video goes live because I'm uploading every single day. I hope you guys love this recipe and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.